When they say let a man be a man, I should have let my man be a man and put them curtains up. Measured it correctly, but these curtain rods are not going to fit in here. Welcome to another episode. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Donnie O, but you can call me Donnie B. If you haven't done so already, I ask you to please drop down, hit that subscribe button. Also turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out when I post and upload. All right, so today is a day that I have been waiting for years for. Um, there's something that I've been wanting to do that I just have not had the time or the resources to do it. But today things change. Today I am starting to work on uh, decorating my master bedroom. I'm so excited about this um, to kind of try to turn my my bedroom into a um, an oasis. Um, so I'm going to start off with, I got a lot of stuff that I ordered, ordered from Amazon and like the, the, the packages in my office have, you know, basically overflowed my office and I can't really get it in order until I, you know, get the stuff out of the boxes and actually put them in the locations where I intend for them to be. So today I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by putting up my curtains, you know, kind of set the backdrop in the field first, and then I'm going to go for whatever else there is to do, um, until I get tired. Hopefully I don't get tired after putting up these curtains because I'm going to be doing them all by myself because my mister he is gone for the weekend and so he's not here so i'm going to be putting them up um i've already got some stuff here at the house um that has that, that has already come in and i've unboxed it and i'm going to show you what so that is this is what my room is looking like thus far kind of plain not too much character um over here I got a mirror, I've already put that up, taken it out of the box and put it up. And I put this plant next to it just to see what it looks like. I I got another tree that I wanna put in here, but right now I just have that here staging it. And if I like this one better, it might stay and I might send the other one back. I actually got an olive tree to pull up, put over there. And so once I pull it out the box, I'm gonna put it over there and see what it looks like. Um, and again, if I don't like it, I'm going to send it back. So let me go ahead and get this started because the kids are asleep and I want to try to have, hurry up and have this put up before they wake up. So I got these beige curtain rod curtains, these beige curtains and they're blackout curtains. I wanted something more sheer, but Freddie wanted some blackout curtains. And then I got this black curtain rod to go with it. As some of us may know, curtains can be expensive. So what I try, what I did for this flip or for this makeover to try to um, make up for some of the cost from the um, purchasing curtains, I purchased some that were used, or or where they say that on Amazon you have an option to choose them new or used or whatever the categories are. Sometimes what those are is just people purchase them and once they get them, they're not the color that they wanted them to be, so they return them. Um, I have opened these up I because I ended up, I needed, um, I have one, two, three, four, five. I need to put up five curtains. So um, the curtains that I got, they did not sell. Um, just one single panel alone, but they did come with two panels in a package. Um, so I ended up having to buy three sets. So that, you know, that can be a bit expensive. So I went on and I bought the ones that were used. Um, and so that cut like $10 off. So that is something to look into when, you know, purchasing things on Amazon. And then, you know, you, you take a risk, you take a chance with getting it to see if something, you know, you probably get it and it's damaged, but you can do what the previous person did, just return it if it's damaged. Um, cause sometimes you may actually be getting stuff that someone else has returned and you just have no idea that they returned it because everything is still in this original packaging and stuff. They may just ship you out something that somebody else has already returned to them. So this way, I mean, I'm saving money. Yes, it's used, but you know, from looks, the looks of it, everything looks good so far. Um, so the more daunting part is to actually put the curtains up and make sure that they are all hung at the same height. Um, so along with those, I got, because I have a bay, I have bay windows. The walls aren't completely flush. And so they, it, I can't get a bar to go straight across because the windows go in and out, in and out. Um, so I purchased something to help me with it. 
All right, so I thought about something that would help me with it. Okay, so this right here, this is what I was going to put in between the curtains. So, like, it could turn, it could um, swivel, and um, here, it adjusts. Let me see. All right, see, it turns like that. So, I could put a curtain rod here and a curtain rod there, and it'll adjust with the corners of the wall. Okay, so the only thing is, is that I thought I had measured it correctly, but these curtain rods are not going to fit in here. The hole is too big. So I either need to return the curtain rods or return this, but either way it goes, I don't know if I could put these curtain rods up. I could probably still put them up and just put the joints in. I don't want to find a reason to not do something. So yeah, I could just go back in and adjust it later and put the joints in. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all, I don't even want to tell you how long it took me to um, hang that first curtain curtain rod. Just one curtain rod. It took me... Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you because this is life. I don't like this light. Here, let me go get some light. All right, so that's a little better. All right, so I have one curtain rod hung and I have three more to go. Um... Let's just say I have a lot of holes that I need to patch up. What I didn't take into account or consideration was, well, I did think about it, but I didn't know where it was. And maybe I should have had a stud finder so I could see. But like the casing around the windows and the casing in the ceiling or what have you, um, I was trying to find a spot where I could go ahead and put in um, my screws so I can hang the, um, so I can put the hooks on for the curtain rod. But let me turn around. I think that it's going to be real, real, real nice once I finish, but let me show you what it looked like. All right, so that is one curtain that's hung. I'm gonna put another one right there, and then one right there, and then one right there. So one in between each in between each window to see what that looks like to see if I like it. Now, I love the bay windows, but if the curtains look like they're too stuffy and they're cutting off my um off the window, I might just put one there, one there, and one there. I don't know yet. We shall see. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own oh, And I know, and I know I was drunk enough Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up, yeah Now I'm truly awakened Hanging those curtain rods was a beast But y'all, I am so excited because I am on my last set of um, curtains that I'm about to hang And this is one panel that I'm going to um, put my my rings with the hooks on and i really really love the touch that the hooks and the rings gave i'm going to leave a picture in the corner as well as i'm going to leave a link to my amazon storefront down below so you can go ahead and check them out they were super inexpensive and i loved them and i ended up with quite a few more extra ones that i could use it on another project in another room should i so choose to since the corner joints did not work these curtain rods were a little too too little for those well quite a bit too little for the curtain joints um what i end up having to do is i'm kind of overlapping the curtain rods to where they can you know kind of intersect each other and then i am going to be using one panel for two different rods as you can see instead of putting one panel on each curtain rod a piece i'm just going to let each curtain rod share one panel of um of the curtains and i'm just going to make sure that i get this positioned appropriately the only thing about this is not 100 percent functional to cover the windows but i am perfectly okay with that simply because i like the light that comes through the windows and i don't want it to be super duper dark and also my curtain um my blinds do a very good job at keeping all of the light out as well. Y'all, I never would have thought that it would have taken me this long to put those curtains up. My body is aching. When they say let a man be a man, 
I should have let my man be a man and put them curtains up. Never will I ever put another curtain up if I don't have to. Uh, but I am loving the way that they turned out. And I'm just wondering, you guys have seen me clean my room over and over and over again. Why ain't nobody tell me to, to dress my windows? It gives my room uh, so much more personality. Um, and it looks so good. I am loving it. Let me show you what it looked like. All right, so this is what the curtains are looking like. They are a bit um, wrinkled and the pleating is off. I'm gonna go back later and fix the pleating to make sure that the pleating is um, is even, but I really didn't care too much about that. I just want to make sure they were up here. Let me widen it up, but the quality is gonna go bad when I widen it up, but I'll widen it up so you can see. All right, so this is what it is looking like, y'all. I am in love with these curtains and the little black hooks and a simple black curtain rod. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the room the way that it was before. Um, and then I, yeah, I'm gonna put the room back together the way it was before so I can get some space back in my room. And then I will finish the rest on tomorrow or another day. But um, I'm not gonna do nothing else right now cause it's like 10, 11 o'clock y'all. I have not eaten anything all day and I hate eating this late, but I gotta eat because I feel a little, little lightheaded, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm calling this a night. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your day.